This is how I live, I live. This is what I love oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Mr. Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Oh, God. Yes, did, did you have a wonderful Juneteenth celebration? You ready well, to pull up? We're here. I'm having Feeling free. tea. I'm having peach tea. If that's a Juneteenth celebration. What is that peach tea is kind of black. Okay, I'll take that's, it. That's a black beverage. I did have some extremely Snapple? sugary. Snapple, no, I had some extremely mm. sugary lemonade made from a black establishment earlier today, like diabetes induced lemonade. Black establishment? It was a black establishment. I won't. I won't name the restaurant here in the beautiful city of Atlanta. Because you don't want to give any credit to a black establishment? I don't understand no, why. I think credit is great, but I mean, the lemonade literally nah, was... No, sugar went up. That's what that was. A blood sugar shot through My the blood roof. sugar did go really... I mean, it was... Re- I had to ask for a glass of I'll water. I had, <laughs> I had to ask for a glass of water because it was so... It was just ridiculously sweet. Like, yeah. like with pure cane sugar. Like, you could tell they had just put the white... It was it's like, actually probably better, though. Than, than, than organic fructose, sugar? No, than yeah. fructose corn syrup. No, I, I use organic sugar. Yeah, that's what I use in my house. You like, I'm sure you like that. You like hearing that. What, organic sugar? Yeah. We don't... He probably doesn't like we, sugar We don't at eat all. No, no white sugar. Oh. No white <laughs> flour. No table salt. None of that shit. Just Lowry's, right? <laughs> yeah, Lowry's is acceptable. Lowry's is sending people to, to the ER. Hey. Well, you can't eat Lowry's. What's the the, the Lowry's the is guest? probably Mrs. the Dash. least of your problems. What about the guest we had? She had her own flavor. That, her yeah, own spice. Yeah. yes, yes, Doctor Flavor, the flavor spices. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's what we, people should be eating. Seriously, I saw a post that Little Duval did, mm-hmm. who is extremely hilarious. If you're not following Little Duval, you definitely need to do that. Hello, Duval, for your weekly dose of your daily dose of um. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's funny. It's, no, it's, him. What I don't is, know. Why, why does he I do just, that kind of I stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Because he's like the only hotep with the British, fake what British the accent. Hell? But no, Lou Duvall said, like, you know, young people think that death is scary because you can get shot. It was like, when you get older, your friends are dying from things that you can't, you know, aneurysms and high blood pressure and things like that. When you get to like a certain age, and I think we're all around that age where health becomes even scarier than hood related crimes. That's why we got to accept these chips. Chips. What chips? The mark of the beast. You guys just go and get them. Oh that's, my god! That's evolution. That's that's our evolution. You know what? I'm not gonna play these. I'm not gonna play these atheist games with you. Evolution. That's a, okay. So the ones who don't accept the chip, not gonna play these atheist games with you. We gotta go not ahead and we gotta it. go ahead and just merge with the computer, Man. and it's gonna be able to sense like it'll be like how your refrigerator. You know how the refrigerators they got now, where when you take something out, it inventories it and it'll order it for you on Amazon. I'm gonna continue to be the light that shines. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> you, something happens shines. in your body, it automatically does a diagnostic. It reads it, sends it to your doctor. They are, before you even get to the ER, they already know you're coming. Like, we saw this six months ago. We, you know, we sent you an alert. <laughs> you just cleared all the alerts. You're like, whoop, 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 and you just cleared all the alerts. And all your, all your notifications. Yep. I wasn't looking at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do for Juneteenth? No, um, what are you nobody doing? taking the chip? What are you doing? We're just going to pass got, that by. I got drunk as shit on Red Stripe. On Red Stripe? Yeah. Well, it's still Juneteenth Jamaican now, beer. so you seem had, to have... From a black-owned beer company. Yeah. Uh, is it black owned still? <laughs> Why isn't it? Mm. You want you want to tell me otherwise? I, mean, I think you just be trying are... to shit on it because I say it black. No, I mean I know what Red Stripe is. Mm-hmm. It's Jamaican. It definitely was at one point Jamaican beer, but you know, like mm-hmm. Corona is not Mexican anymore. Come on. <laughs> me, this Taco Bell. Man. We're like, what is Why did someone told me that the other day that the only Mexican food they eat is Taco Bell, and I was like, <laughs> what? Mexican, oh, so you don't no. eat Mexican food? That's, That's what I not said. Mexican food. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I haven't eaten Taco Bell in probably seven I've years. I've never seen. I've, if, I've never seen an actual Mexican eat Taco Bell. No, because they they're disgusted. Right. Nah, some construction that. workers do. <laughs> they eat Quick Trip stuff. If nothing else I, is around. You know what? I did see after Maybe. moving to Atlanta. I remember going to Greenbrier Mall. And seeing Asians prepare chitlins. Asians had a, you know, Asians have the most hot wing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Asians, Asians sell soul food in the hood very, all day, every day. That's very unsettling to me. It's very mm. unsettling for an Asian what? to be 
fixing shit. I just don't understand why that would be happening. I really want to see, like... Do you, you do know that Mexicans cook everything in Atlanta. Like, if you go in the kitchen at any nice restaurant, any cheap... The cheap restaurants, the expensive restaurants, is Mexicans in the, in the back there cooking. You have an issue with Mexicans. Actually, I think that's a fair point. That is the truth. Um, I, I don't think, because in the soul food places I've been to, there were not Mexicans in the back. There were not. There were African. Isn't there a Blacksican place somewhere? This, yeah, I think I think somewhere. Um, oh my God! No, down the street. Is from, it called Blacksican? Uh, is are uh, the meals? There, there I is like a, a like a soul food slash Mexican food spot over there. Oh God, I can't. I even, thought it was a truck. You sure it's not like a food truck? No, no, because it has a drive through. Okay. Oh. Well, it's definitely not a fine dining experience. I guarantee a Mexican works there. I think it's over there by Boogaloo's. I've never, I don't know what that is. I've never Yeah, heard. it's on Ponce. Yeah. Really? The club, my the club with the swings. Boogaloo, yeah. that's Boogaloo is the yep. club with the swings, which we actually may be doing an event there. You guys should come. They do R&B Tuesdays karaoke. We should go nah, out there. I'm good. No, we should go. We should nah. go to karaoke. I don't like people in clubs. It's not a club at that time. It's karaoke. It's a social event. It's like a lounge. I don't like social. You don't like lounges? Too many phony people out there. Probably people want to beat you up. Beat me up? Why? Because you say such ridiculous things all the time. <laughs> I'm sure you make a lot of enemies everywhere you go. I don't. People like me. I think our listeners like me. You have been talking negatively nah, about Mexicans. you've been Mexicans. laying low for a while. I think, we, <laughs> I think I'll take your ass around the corner. They're going to be like, damn, nigga, go right there. Uh-huh. Nah, I, think, I think our listeners like me. Well, I, I, I like you guys, thing. too. If there are any Mexicans, just know he's not on your side. Because I said that they got jobs? No, you also said that they expire after no, a certain date. No, females date. expire. They do. They know that shit. That's why they drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how you going to fuck that? How you going to fuck that sober? Come on. <laughs> I can't. Come on. You know I'm telling the truth. Oh, I can't. I God. can't. Speaking of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just go. That is. Who are you? He just went Speedy Gonzalez. This is like the <laughs> worst. Yeah. Well, like, that was his cousin, right? stereotype. Yeah. Like. That was his cousin. The cousin was Slow drunk Poke. On that was my dude. <laughs> exactly. Slow Poke Rodriguez. <laughs> exactly. He pack it gone. <laughs> Slow Poke Rodriguez <laughs> blast your ass. Man. That's hilarious. I can't. I can't. Okay. Um, yeah. I you got guys. I got some feedback. What were we talking about? Um were we talking about Alzheimer's on here? And it was like it was like new booty? Or is that the other show? <laughs> No. no, that wasn't no. us. No, we were we were talking about Alzheimer's. And I said this like, oh yeah, yeah. And it sounds like having yeah, sex with yeah. new. Yeah, somebody gave me some feedback like, yo, my parents had my dad or somebody had Alzheimer's, but I laughed my ass off when you said that. Our listeners like me. They come on. I don't know who that was, nor do I know if that's real. I don't know if that's real. That's real. I promise. Anyone Hand to the man. Deal- I promise. For listeners who aren't I'm watching, willing to bet. no, I think that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah. Always I'm agree go. with him. No, I don't. No, I yes, don't. He does. He say a lot of dumb shit, but this time <laughs> I, I think he's wrong, but he's on the mark. Have you ever had dealt with Alzheimer's in your family? I or? have. It's not mm. cute. It's not it's pretty. Not funny. But it, every, and it's not new booty. So you're part of the problem. I am not. The you're problem. part of the pre I pointed to you. Talking? You're part of the problem. <laughs> you're the reason why comedy's not funny no more. Because somebody says something that's funny, you refuse to laugh because of the political correctness or incorrectness. That's of not it. true. It's just certain lines you don't cross. So you're telling me Mexicans' bodies don't expire? They early. do not expire. You blinked like ten times when you blink. said. That. I blink because I have to blink, but that's not. I don't think anybody, any any culture or race body expires. I think there are people that are healthy and people that are unhealthy, and it just depends on what no, side the of the coin of you the fall. The bones actually the change. Shape of the bones <laughs> I'm telling you, do the stru- not change. The structure moves. It goes that's from this true. to this. Straight up and down. Uh, one one, is one is a wall in the back. I don't even it's just a wall. How we got back here again? I'm so sorry. Okay, leave it alone. Hey, they do be on. built like SpongeBob. And what are you hills. doing? What? I'm sorry. It was, <laughs> but you. they be it be squared. Dent, man, them leggings have no curve. What at all? It be SpongeBob and but some kitten heels. I guarantee you, a, a black man will still hit. It's so I guarantee. It, you, yes. Dudes will hit ugly chicks. That that happens. That's not right. ugly. That's... Just because your body is shaped a certain way does not make you ugly. Everyone is beautiful. Yeah, it does. It? No, In everyone is not. Way. It definitely contributes. It does not contribute. Yeah, it does. Ugly is not. Ugly is a state of mind. 
I'm gonna let you go on and sell that. Yeah. Go, go ahead. I do. I believe Expound. that everyone, ugly is a state of ugly mind. Ugly is a state of mind. It is. A, it is something that comes from the inside mm. out. It does not come from the outside in. Now you may be unhealthy. How many ugly dudes have you dated? I've dated on the a, outside. I've dated a few. I've dated a few. I like ugly people. Ugly people are cool with me. Ugly people have other skills. They dress I I, nice. They smell good. Ugly people love to make talented. you laugh. Yeah, other people make you laugh. Well, we, did, we, we always say guys that are not so attractive, they're, great they're funny, that makes them more attractive. Yeah. I've be dated a beautiful some, motherfuckers I've dated you got to watch some guys that are not exactly. so attractive. So that's, that's niggas that's, will slit your throat. But that's why I'm like the, the double hitter. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll make you laugh and I'm movie star handsome. All in the same package. People hate you. <laughs> People do not hate me. <laughs> Moving I'm, on. I'm t- <laughs> People hate you. Now they like, they like mm-hmm. me. Okay, so, okay. Are you guys excited about the news? First of all, I knew (laughs) that Beyonce and Jay-Z were going to release something else for On the Run. Whack. Two. And then all of a sudden, almost right when Nas' album was starting to get a little bit of of hype and buzz, Jay-Z struck again. That's super whack. And they dropped... What is it called? Everything is Love? Yes. Everything is Love. Everything is Love. From the Carters, Jay-Z and Beyonce. What do you think? Whack. Well, you can only get it on I'm, title. I don't know. Is it was it on Apple? No, it's music? on Apple Music now. It's on Apple Music. It's, oh, now yeah. it's on Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, that's whack. That whole the whole timing thing was whack. That's whack. You think it was was whack for them to release it right then? I think. Do so. you guys think that 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 really yes. was because of the Kanye and all that? Well, I wonder what was going on because Nas album. I couldn't I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, there was some at trouble. First. There was, was some like, trouble. Was, there were a lot of funny happening? memes about Nas's album not being able, people not being able to find it and down. It was. Right. A, is it Nas fail. was still trying to upload it? <laughs> this this may be a rumor, but I think I saw somewhere also that after he got it uploaded, they they know the same little meme. Mm-hmm. He they put it back out again, saying Nas was trying to figure out how Beyonce and Jay Z got their album up so fast, <laughs> and Beyonce liked it, and she never likes anything. I don't think she liked it. What do you mean it. how she got up so fast? She owned title. The no, fuck? No, no, it was, no it was while the they got it online. Yeah. He was, I, he was I, like looking confused in the picture. The same uh, one is like, okay. how do you upload this album? Same, yeah, I don't same think picture. Beyonce Maybe like, I was She doesn't like because that, 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 that Instagram is not actually her. It's, yeah. it's all. But no, but that's whack though. That whole timing thing, That's to me, that's. But that's do you guys just, think that was on purpose? Yes. Really? Come on. Yeah. They're 365 well, you're in the industry. Days. Industry people know when. No, I know when, they do, but I also know we know when. they were on tour. We know that they were going to drop something because they're on tour with this. And people were complaining about. Going to on the run and it being the same exact songs as the last tour, right? Because there hadn't been any new music, so I don't know. I would, I, if you know what, if they, if that was the case, it was extremely petty. But I choose to believe that that is not or the strategic, case. depending on what kind of evil. I you mean, are. I don't even think Nas is like a contender for what they do. You know what I mean? That's like, what that's what makes it whack. Nas Nas is putting out his first album in who knows how long. If, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then the fact that it's with Kanye. So then here they come with now, that. I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. But it does. Jay Z well, did two address birds, one and sonically yeah. they're two completely different That's albums. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I, I still got be... what I wanted to hear from Nas and Kanye. Did you? I got that. Did you too? I, I no, did. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. Yeah. What's the one? Everything. That's my joint. Yeah, I think everybody yeah. really. That's that's been the song that everybody really likes. There's been mixed reviews online about if people like it or did not like it. Kanye's album didn't get as many good reviews. Nas got more than Kanye, but there were still a lot of people that were just like, I'm good on it, you know? Well, I think it was still kind of a, a somber album, too. Yeah. It wasn't, well, Nas it wasn't is kind of like a... Party a yeah, exactly. Yeah. He ain't, I don't he'll, care. He'll he's not like a that. party guy. I don't like, care what anybody says. 2018 is Kanye's year. This is this is a lot of projects. Even he, with Beyonce, he even, with, all even the projects. with Everything Is Love, that is that is whack. I, that, I've, been, I've only heard the Ape Shit song, and that song is garbage. And he dropped Summer, four albums, and we still we still don't Tiana have Tiana Taylor. I think Tiana's going to be the dopest one. That's fine, but I think it's going to be. The but look, dopest all one. those all those albums are better than good. Every single one of them. They may not be the best. They may not be you know. Black they may not Thought be classics. And, okay, but. But those albums are all better than good. And I like okay. the fact that people are doing these these small... I don't know why we're not calling it an EP. Seven yeah. songs used to be an EP. Yeah, even theirs, with theirs being nine, it's still you right. know a lot less than what we are used to. Beyonce used to do two two discs with with ten on each one, so right. about three good songs. But if we got if we got all four of these albums as one That's album, twenty eight songs, like Chris Brown's album was what fifty songs or something? Forty eight, forty six. Like yeah. it would be exhausting. And the fact that it was released seven by seven by seven by seven, I think that was a little more palatable. Yeah, but I mean, that's two different things, though. Chris Brown is a beast, and 
that's still, to me, that was still dope of him to do that. This is totally different. I don't think you compare those two. You mentioned that Kanye's album's not doing that good, but I thought like three or the top three songs streaming were his. Were they? I'm, I'm not sure. At I'm just, the time, at I'm the, going the on, first week, it was a top seven. The yeah, whole album Oh, yeah, that's was, right. That's right. The right. entire album. I'm was, just kind of going on the, the feedback that, that you see on social media. Well, it's and, getting and streamed. talking about it. It's getting streamed. Well, that's, that's what's most important. Does anyone buy, like actually buy no. downloads mm-hmm. anymore? No. no. Well, nope. no. People no. stream and then I think they, and I don't even think they stream the entire album. It's like songs <sighs> they pick because people were talking about the song. The number one, like with Nas, the everything record is the, right. is a is a favorite, and then you know Beyonce and Jay Z put the entire thing up. But I think summer is it summertime or summer, and then Ape Shit. Well, they did the video for Ape Shit, so of course that's right. going to get a lot of um, hits. And then but. then they actually dropped another song that's not on the album called oh. uh, Salute. Oh, I didn't know that. And that shit hard. They can miss, nah, they miss me with all that. They're like doing it. a lot. Well, I think that it's interesting that they address pretty much everything that has been talked about. Um, Jay-Z addresses, I think, Drake again, you know, just basically saying that Drake shouldn't compare himself to him because he doesn't that. make the same money. Is, are we money. sure that it's just subliminal? I don't know if it's... They're subliminal, but they're pretty... I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious, I think, even yeah. though it is subliminal. He, he also does address the Kanye... West situation in the wedding saying, you know, if me and my wife aren't right, I'm not going anywhere. And if you can't understand that, then you're not a friend anyway. Um, in response to Kanye <laughs> crying repeatedly about Beyonce and Jay-Z not being at his wedding. Obviously, they had something going on, or at least that's what the the right the thing is. And then, I don't know, they just kind of stun on people a lot. You know, It's talk bullying, about, though. It's not even cool no more. Why you say that? Just, How do you say it's bullying? Because... Obviously, with the amount of money they have, the amount of draw that they get whenever they do anything, right? They could have put that album out any time and been successful, but they right. chose to do it on the day when Kanye and Nas were making what could have been a comeback a album. <laughs> or no, I'm saying this is, I mean, Kid Cudi was, you know, it. Kanye West, yeah. Um, Pusha T, yeah. But Nas hadn't done an album in a long time, right? This is what a lot of hip hop heads were waiting on, right? And they chose this exact day to stunt. That's just bullying at this point. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not proud of that move. You know, I've never been a Beyonce fan, but Jay Z was one of my favorite rappers. That's just. I'm, I mean, he's not. He didn't fall in the, in the, in the ranks. Yeah. But that's just some. Mm, come okay. On. Now, what? Because a lot of people are com- are complaining about Beyonce. Basically, it's a Beyonce and Jay Z together. But it seems like Jay Z is it's Beyonce featuring Jay Z. You know what I mean? Isn't it always though? Beyonce is the bigger star. <laughs> she is the bigger star, but a lot of a lot of his fans are saying. I think there was a meme that basically was saying, "I'm not, you know, trying to sign up." It seems like Jay Z is like Beyonce's bitch at this point, and he's he's apologizing, and he just, you know, even with the picture of him coming out, it just seems like he's under her influence. They're not getting the real Jay Z anymore. I don't know the Maybe way Beyonce is, mature... is dropping these bars. I think she's all under no, his influence. I do not want to hear Beyonce rap. Cut it well, out. That's like the Migos rapping. I don't hear a rap like yeah. the Migos. I don't think that's Jay Z. I think that's more Migos and whoever is the new young person. That's that's the last good Beyonce them, so. album was Dangerously in Love. That's not true. And no. Jay Z and Beyonce got two good songs together. That's not true. Bonnie and Clyde and On the Run too. Well, I do. Bonnie and Clyde is my favorite. But yeah, but the list they have don't a lot end of good, there. They've man. got a like, lot of. They've got a lot of good them? songs it's, together. The list don't end there. Actually, after this whole. Drake and Pusha T thing, man. I don't the way you flip side. I don't even know if I could trust your judgment <laughs> right now, dude. Yeah, yeah, Beyonce. you flip. You you immediately went. Drake should just quit rapping. <laughs> he should just quit rapping. No, but I mean, so do you? Do you? How do you feel about? Because Jay Z is definitely making some. He just is totally looks different. Do you mm-hmm. think it's just a maturity thing with the different dress? Him in the in the pastel colors and you know being all artistic with Beyonce and being just like her. <laughs> Whisperer, or do you think that this is just, you know... That's an interesting choice of word, whisperer. Is well, that I'm what just you saying meant? it because it's like he's kind of like doing ad-libs meant. for her. <laughs> that ain't what you um, I feel... You want to call him a bitch. I, I don't. I don't want to call I, th- I think but I you, love I don't the think idea of it being a husband and wife I don't think team. he's less of a man because he's supporting his woman. Right. I, I, I agree. I, I, can't, I can't deliver that message. Sorry. But I do think... I feel like maybe he's in a transition. Where is he going to go? I think um, because the like reassignment. Yeah, seeing the two of them, <laughs> seeing the two of them start to like hold hands and yeah, and, moves and kind of stand on stand on a stage together as if they are. It, it, I don't know. It's it's a public thing to me that they're seeing them hold hands and just kind of stand as equals. They've been doing it. 
It's been, I, it's been happening. Yeah, it's been so, ha- on the run was that, but this was a meme that said the J and B collab feels like Jay Z was neutered, forced to wear a collar, and Beyonce is now dragging him around on a leash. I, that's called marriage. I, <laughs> I don't think that's called marriage. No, sir. My house is run by me. We'll have his wife on next week to see if that's true. Uh, but, we'll see about that. Yeah, but I, I I think that may be a bit far, but I do think, I don't know. I, I like to see both of them in their element. I like to see both of them in their element. <laughs> that element. I do. Yeah. I like this is not Jay-Z. Jay-Z's element, though. But you know but what? I'm just, that's see, what I'm saying. I, I hope. It's Beyonce's element. Jay-Z's just there, though. You were right when you say that. He's in a comp. He is like an accoutrement. <laughs> he's, he is an accessory. Yeah, he's a bangle. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is he, a, is he an accessory? Well, he's this is growing, not his, he's growing but, his I mean, hair you know out. You know that that's why I say transition because that awkward stage before you get dreadlocks when is your hair is just trying to I think he's just I think he's trying to grow it out now. I don't he's not doing I mean dreadlocks. clearly he's growing his hair. I don't think he's okay, I think he's trying to get dreads. I'm not I'm not a guy looker, but Jay Z's never been a really a, a, a attractive dude. But with I don't dreads, think he's doing dreads. Wow. I don't think that <laughs> the only way that Jay Z could be uglier. Is <laughs> he grew some damn dreadlocks? I hate you. I don't think we're. I don't think that's where we're going. So you I, liking Jay, Jay and dreads? Going. No, I, no, no. I don't. <laughs> I don't like it now. And I there's want, been more and more oh, like no. island influence in the I industry. Wish, you know what I'm saying? Was, yeah, I that's wish true. it was back mm. to the Caesar. I, I wish we could go back to the Caesar. I wish we could go back to the Caesar. Nah, with the, New with York, the clean New York sneakers. Hove is gone. Is it, is. is it time for him to stop? I mean, he I think more so. Natural. Yeah. You know what? I remember hearing a, a music industry exec saying that he 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 doesn't really have anywhere to go now. He's right. almost fifty years old. Even though he's put out albums, let me ask you guys this: so the last couple of albums he he's put out mm-hmm. have managed to go platinum with marketing, right? Being on Sprint, the, the situation with titles. So he's managed to have the numbers that look successful. Right. Do you guys think if? Sprint, the the Sprint, and even the what was it, Samsung deal at first, right? And then Sprint. If those things hadn't been in place, do you think he would have done the numbers that he did? No, uh, okay. I don't know. We tried. We tried. I don't know if you remember. We tried to get on that campaign for um, Nokia when Nokia was going to come back out. Mm-hmm. We tried to get. We tried to get the artist on that Nokia phone. Right. That would have been amazing because yeah. they were going to ship a million units. Yeah. And just the math, I mean, I don't, I don't know if people understand what you meant by the Sprint deal or the Samsung deal, but the way that the this, this system worked was Nokia was coming back as, as a, with a smartphone. Mm-hmm. Our, my artist was going to actually be on the, the card, the memory card that came with the phone. Right, right. But it was going to be platinum day one yeah, because they were JG shipping was. a million of those phones yeah. to the stores. And once mm-hmm. they ship them, they don't have to be bought they, yet. They don't, yeah. It's, it's, they don't have to be bought. That's what happened with Jay-Z with Samsung. And then other artists have done that too. Other non-African American, other non-urban artists have done that yeah. um, as well. But I think, but that you makes you- You did that with Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. that makes you immediate- Platinum, regardless yeah. of people, don't have to choose the music. The right. music is just given to them. It's I don't part know. Of I the had sale. the phone. I didn't even know that YouTube was on there, and that it was on there already. You yeah. know what I mean? So, do you guys think without those no. marketing techniques, I, I tend to agree with you. So, one of the execs I know said, Jay Z doesn't really have anywhere to go at this point. He, you know, he's done these things that have made him look successful. Before we go there, I go a step further. Drake is probably the only artist that can really sell a million without any exploits. As but black, you know black what, or urban artists well, right. You know what A lot of artists Especially at the time That Jay-Z started doing it For mm-hmm. example With the Samsung deal A lot of The industry itself right. Was trying to figure out What is the next thing Right How do we Is it is it downloads Like was it going to be Jump drives Right What Like they were trying to figure that it out That was a while ago Yeah Yeah Yeah. So we knew CDs were Were dwindling Right Right We knew downloads Is it ringtones How yeah. is it Like for a well, while People yeah. were selling ringtones So everybody was trying to figure out you What the new You know they still sell ringtones Right is. Did y'all know that yeah. They still yeah. sell them But you're not But you're not Selling a million not ringtones right. Soldier To Boy. get those checks Soldier Boy. Like, like did Laffy that. Taffy <laughs> right. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, Soldier Boy was the king of the ringtones. Right. But that was, you know what? Those one, two summers? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. So uh, I, I, give cre- I give credit to Jay-Z for having the foresight <sighs> to recognize that as a platform. No, and I say, agree. And that's not what I'm saying. But it's still a stunt, though. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I, I get that. He's a very smart marketing genius. We it's know that. It's still a publicity stunt, though. It I agree is, with It you. is a publicity stunt. But, but so what I'm saying is, just artistry-wise, not... Marketing, mm-hmm. right? I don't think where so. would he go? So they they predicted probably 
when they first did on the run, he's gonna do a, a, a record with her because he's he can't put out something and not be successful because that messes up his whole right. persona. Right, right, right. So right, he right. has to do something that's going to be extremely um, successful. And this was right after he did Watch the Throne. He was like, he's going to partner with Kanye because Kanye has, has the people at that time. Right. It, it helped him be successful. He did that that album with Kanye. He came back and did 444, but again, it was marketing yeah. shenanigans to make that because I really don't think if that record was out without, without all the it, extra yeah. stuff, it would have done what it did. She's, it was conversation about She's guilty it. too, though. She's not as guilty she's though. She has a de- she yeah. has a definite fan base that still Jay Beyonce is not she's, the same Beyonce place in her career. Chasing. She is chasing, but I don't think it's the same. You she's know in who the same she's chasing? Place Denzel. Chasing who? I mean, not Denzel. Woo, Jay Z. That was horrible. Yeah, I saw a picture. You know of Denzel she's chasing? That reminded I, I know. The, that. I know the Beehive guy doesn't believe it. You know she's chasing, right? <laughs> who? Who do you think? Rihanna. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people have been yes. saying that. Yeah. You don't have to say it. It's yeah. the, she got more number one hits. She yeah. got more. She got more songs top one hundred than Beyonce does as a solo artist and, and Destiny, Destiny Child, Child combined. Yeah, Rihanna, 59, Rihanna has fifty nine records. Rihanna. Rihanna is they're good songs. They're just Rihanna, good, Rihanna solid is songs. fucking yeah. the Beehive up. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I know that don't. Nigga, the Beehive gonna fuck you up. No, nah, be, they already I know. I mean, they're they're they they Beehive, beehive they gonna come for Rihanna. They've been trying to do this. Be uh. You don't Beyonce, have to do. Rihanna you don't have to do it. The facts are the though. facts. This Crystal ain't new. But yeah, they, I mean, this ain't you new. know, but we've had this conversation in circles, in industry circles. It's Rihanna just has better songs, and it's just a different. It's a different thing. Beyonce has. It's a. It's a. The persona and all the rest of it. Together. Beyonce only has like four, like five number ones. Rihanna has fourteen number ones. Yeah, Rihanna think, makes great <laughs> more than music. double. Ke- Kevin, I mean, listen, man. Like, it's, <laughs> okay, so okay, all right. It, it's no conversation. It's facts. We, so what? So what? All so, right. So what I'm asking though, deal is, with it. What? What? <laughs> what, do you, it. what do you think Jay Z could do music wise if he didn't do this? I personally, and I'm, I talk, I'm serious. I'm a Jay Z fan as right. a rapper. We all. I haven't it. heard this new, the new collaboration yet. Mm-hmm. But um, I think it's time for him to. Phase it out Yeah Not because I don't think He still can Right But because you don't Want to look like Old MJ Yeah yeah. Michael Jack, I mean Michael Jordan. I'm saying, yeah. You don't want to be Washington Wizards, Michael Washington Jordan. Washington Wizards, Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was cool. He wasn't awful. He was still a good player, but yeah. it's like mm. it just it just took away from the like Roy Jones Jr. Now, <sighs> well, not sorry, quite sorry, now, sorry but Roy Jones, but yeah, man. Well, like you know. I don't know. I feel like if he's, I mean, he doesn't have anywhere to go because no one's gone that high. No one's gone this far. Right. No rapper has been rapping at this age right. and still been That's relevant true. or popular or That's true. or even discussed. But what right. she's saying, right. what Chris was saying is, is he still relevant or is it these deals? It I these mean, that's like Will, Will Smith started dropping some bars recently, right. right? Which I like, but I don't know that Will Smith's new album would be like, oh my God. No, nah, I, I, I don't think Jay-Z's album, like I said, I don't think 444 would actually have done. First of all, it, it debuted on radio and then it stopped. You don't hear those songs on radio at all. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it, it it was all the So they, extra, they pulled the radio it was budget. The com- it was the conversation about 444 that made it relevant. It wasn't necessarily the music. I'll agree. It was the con- and I love the conversation. Yeah. And I even with this album with them, I love the I love the husband and wife team. It's all about the angle of it. It's us together. We got our grandchildren's children are rich. That's a lot of black children on your Forbes list. Okay, it's cool. But Jay Z as an artist, I don't think he had anywhere else to go and be and still be able to maintain his whole persona besides this. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's true, but I don't. Here's here's just like I feel like Jay Z is not making music. Jay Z and Beyonce actually are not making music for the nineteen twenty year old. That's listener. not true. That um, the Migos did the reference track for Ape Shit, and the Migos are making music for them. Yeah, Beyonce but that's and not Jay-Z are the Migos make, is not the bulk of their sound. That's not the. Have that's you not have their you heard catalog. this new album? But have you heard this new album? Yeah, I've that's listened, what they're going I've after. To the they're, they're, they're going after them. They're that's, appropriating. They're going it's, after. It's a that. first single. But even the rest of the the, the music, it, even what they did with DJ Khaled, the the uh, I took the I took the top off my mate off the Maybach. It's, right. It is it is geared towards that audience. That's that audience. Yeah, I mean, and the club is always going to there. I mean, that's a part of 
that's a part of the industry, is especially at that level. So they are right? going after sure that demographic. That get, I mean, that's that's part of it. But I think, especially in terms of their messaging and stuff, you got to keep in mind, they've been around for a number of years already. So I think they're Ever. making music that's growing with their audience. I don't think so. I'm not I'm not that audience. I'm, I am their target audience. I've been growing with both of them, and I am not ape shit. I like the beat. I do too, but I'm just so saying that's not... So there's nothing on the album that you enjoy? I don't think they're making music for... Beyonce is not. 444 was, right? But mm-hmm. Beyonce is not making music for her core. Beyonce is chasing somebody else's core. Because they've always said that Rihanna made music more for the younger chicks. Beyonce was more... You know, for a little bit more traditional. She so was, she switched she it up. Figured it out. And, she and Beyonce everybody. has always been like Rihanna was bad girl a long time ago. Yeah, that's my, Beyonce, that's his point. Beyonce that's is just point. now like she just now dropped her first nude photo with and did it with her husband, husband and three kids. Nobody's You're done doing a, it backwards. A nude photo with your husband. That's what I'm saying. But 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 why would you? But why are you being a bad girl now? Rihanna was like, this is just who I am. Mm-hmm. I remember they were talking to Rihanna. She was like, you send, you sent new pictures to your boyfriend? She was like, of course I did. I feel sorry for your <laughs> right. boyfriend if you don't. Like, that's just who she is. Beyonce is mm-hmm. more important. Rihanna, it makes better songs. She's a better artist. She makes better music. It's, and the, the facts are the facts. Beyonce is probably a better performer. De- Beyonce is definitely a better performer. Yeah, I'll give her that. But, but, but Rihanna makes better but, songs. And you know what? I'm willing, I'm willing to bet that because a lot of women have have felt like, oh, I need to, I need to step it up and with my sexiness if I'm going to get some attention. I don't think that's necessarily just a Beyonce yeah, no, thing. No, I think that's I'm a women thing. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that hey, at women all. Women have come I, from out of town to Atlanta and seen some of them girls and but, be like, shit, But I we are change. saying that Beyonce was an, I, it, you know, was an icon that people were like, oh, she's more respectful. She's the wife. Then she just was flipped it around and was like... You know what's crazy, though? And no. I, just, I just thought about this. <laughs> I'm also a stripper and a... No, you're not. This is, this is what's so <laughs> funny about that. And I just realized it while we were sitting here talking. Isn't it amazing how Beyonce has transformed her body and herself into like this thing? Mm-hmm. And Rihanna has started to let it go, but people are so excited about her letting it go. Like everybody is like totally smitten with yeah. Rihanna, thick, thick Rihanna. Yeah. yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I love so thick Rihanna. What's Beyonce going to do now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now she's going to take some of those parts off. <laughs> mm, people, the parts we didn't even know were parts. <laughs> I'm just saying, Rihanna, Rihanna's just winning. I mean, yes, Beyonce makes more money. Got it. Beyonce has good performances, but as far yeah. as and Beyonce it, has Jay Z, right? If if it wasn't, it, Rihanna's just Rihanna. It's, it's just, not just it's yeah, her. She, it's we just, don't. Yeah, it's just her. Rihanna Beyonce. is evil. Beyonce. No, no, that's, that's a, mad. That's not. I'm telling you, Beyonce evil is chasing no, Rihanna. She's not. It doesn't look like no, that. But trust she's me, evil Beyonce. Cause she's done. She did all the stuff that Beyonce would. It doesn't do. make her evil. She just is. She just is. Okay with her no, sexuality. She's no, not- Beyonce was the was was the very controlled, very very above the board. Who good is that girl. dude? Who's but that why dude? Does that make and her Rihanna evil? was none of that. But why does that make her evil though? Yeah. That's kind of crazy. That, that's you're, you're, I'm, are you okay, slut shaming? Two sides. No, I'm not shaming her. But you it's two are. sides of the same coin. He is slut shaming. Beyonce, Beyonce was was the good girl, and Rihanna See, was the gone the bad. You are the problem. You are the problem. <laughs> no, I'm not. You are the problem. That is you why women can't feel comfortable. That's how they cope. That's how they. Being comfortable as a woman. No, and they captured the entire market. If a woman is comfortable in her sexuality, you call her bad. And evil, and that's just because Rihanna's she called comfortable. Herself bad. Her damn Instagram is bad gal Riri. Come that's on, that's because of me. That's because that's everybody it. says that. Yeah. No, Kevin, you're reaching. You are, I'm not reaching. You yeah. are seriously, I girls. Agree with a woman one. can be reaching. sexy and still not <laughs> be <shots>. evil. <laughs> what are you talk? Two shots of what? You called a foul on you. That's why. Mm-hmm. Reaching. I agree with Chris on this that's one. That's ridiculous. You just I said she's that... evil, Beyonce, because yes. Beyonce's doing the same thing she is, except later in life with no, three no. kids. You remember that dude that came out it's saying, like Super Mario and Wario? Y'all don't remember that guy that came out? He used to slang dick to Beyonce all the time, and like was trying to pull her <laughs> under the bus. Y'all didn't believe yeah, y'all didn't yeah. y'all didn't believe him because it was Beyonce. He yeah. was he wasn't lying. Yeah. Beyonce before she got with Jay Z, she was probably in them sheets and in them yeah, streets. But she, yeah. and but right, and there was a lot of see, girls. There was a lot of girls shaming. that do shit like that. Kevin but is they shaming leave the country them. to go do it. They go have Kevin a girls is shaming trip. Shaming women, saying that you <laughs> they, should hide they, it. They, you they, should hide they it as a prim and to proper being, being, around school, right? Right. And then they leave the country and then go wild out and be hoes and do all that shit. Do you should just be comfortable in who you are and just be that from the beginning? You're saying it's better. To hide it and be no, good. No, I'm not saying that. And to be evil. You just I didn't said say that. I didn't say Beyonce is good and, and Rihanna yes, you is did. bad. Evil yeah. Beyonce. I, no, I didn't make them good or bad. Their perception is Beyonce is good and Rihanna said she's bad. 
Rihanna did not say she was bad. Just because her thing is bad gal Riri does not mean she's bad. That does not mean that she's bad. Okay. That's just because people call it, it right. called her that. Okay. But you're saying that. But hold on, she's this sexual. good girl, this good girl gone bad, right? The wives and the hoes. There's always been this wives type of and thing. Hoes? But I'm just saying. There's that's always the been problem. that type. So of you'd thing. marry Beyonce and Rihanna be the side chick. Yep. Not me. He fits into the stereotype. Not of what me. Yep. American. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Rihanna <laughs> would be the wife. Beyonce would, I would just pass her by. Beyonce don't, you don't want need, all her business out no, there. No, here's the thing. Here's she the don't thing. want you knowing. Well, here's the Rihanna thing. Rihanna don't give a shit if you know. You call me smoke Crystal. weed, but that's because I smoke weed. But Beyonce does it now. Here's the thing. You have to have Rihanna as a side chick if you're Beyonce married to Beyonce. Beyonce. What are you talking about? Beyonce does not just let you in. He was she, like, Beyonce does She not shows you. Listen. No, Beyonce presents some Ugh. some candid photos. Rihanna gets Anybody caught got time for that shit. shit. Rihanna does not get caught. She just is herself. She's exactly. authentic. You don't need a side chick if you got Rihanna. If you got if you're married to Beyonce, you got to have a side chick, Riri. <laughs> if you got Rihanna, you don't need a, you don't and, need and anybody. You know what? Else. Truth be told, most dudes should probably marry their side chick. I do think that's true. Marry your side chick because you're never do cheap. not. That is not, that's 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 I don't the know about forbidden that. one that you want. Here's the part of the show where Beyonce is the one that's like, "What the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> do not do not it's do a this." Whole, guys. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> trying I do, I do to think, your point, trying to keep up that, that image. I do think that most guys, the girl they marry. I've, in fact, I just talked to a guy this weekend. You're going to appreciate this story. Okay. He got married to a girl he had never had sex with because she was the stupid, smart, you know, holier than thou <laughs> one. And he had a girl that he, you know, was enjoyed having sex with. He, he picked the girl that was now she had already had sex before because she had a kid, but she decided she was a Christian now and she's not having sex. Oh hell and so, no! Oh come on, oh, my no. nigga, what are you? What? So <laughs> they did not have sex. So they got married. They didn't Sierra. have sex for a year. They got she 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 got that Sierra card. They got married, and then he was like, "I'm so miserable." In a year, I've had sex ten times. The sex is horrible. She doesn't give head. He was like, he was like, she get her jaw hurt. That's horrible. How was it his fault? But he said, I said, I said, so how did you guys get here? And he, I said, didn't you have sex before you got married? And he said, no, because she didn't want to. And I was like, wow. So he <laughs> she thought, knew it was trash. He put he put her on this pedestal, and then she just, you know, she's not delivering. Now she doesn't feel like she has to. I'd have to have sex way more than one time before yeah. I marry somebody. Way, way more. But I do I think agree. that guys think that the girls that are a certain way are just are good, like you said. So he assumed, and he really should have married a side chick because he knew he enjoyed being with her. They and But he just had this I idea. I mean, we know, who, we know who's the good girls and who's not. You no, know, you don't. The so, girls that don't make it to the after party, those are the good girls. Can I just say, though, that that guy's a dickhead anyway, though? Why is he a dickhead? He has a side chick. Stop being a dickhead, No, he doesn't dude. have a side chick. He It was a girl a girl that he was sleeping with while he was dating, but now that he's married, he doesn't. You're a dickhead. You should have you should have not been cheating. That's why you got fucked in the game. Shut up. You're true. such an ass. It's the truth. That's a he should have been with one woman. That's fair. And not, and not had that issue. That's fair. Whatever. The hey, point hey. is, he tried to pick the good girl that he thought was going to be the, the so wife. So he's a material, dickhead twice. And now he's not having sex. Jack it off. Hey, chose wrong, nigga. You rolled the dice. <laughs> is he a listener? What? <laughs> I don't know, but. Um, he listening now. Hey. He is. Sorry, I didn't mention your Go name. Go back to episode, uh, what was it, where we talked about masturbation? Kevin, you weren't here that. You got to <laughs> listen to that. There's some We got some some sites we recommended. We did. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> crazy, though. So a year in, what do you think you should do? Ten times in a year? Ten times in a year. I don't know. Mm. Oh, mm. no. Blue. Day. But do guys really still get that? Uh, like, no, I don't as, think they as ever an, got grown, it. As an adult. That was like, a lie. That was what we did. Told that was a lie to get girls yeah, to give it up. To get, make y'all feel sympathetic. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, they don't even... It, uh, that's crazy. I was just like, now though. what are you going to do? Because you're... <laughs> it did work. <laughs> <laughs> you're married. Once you're married, you don't want to get a divorce. Yes, you do. I wouldn't want to get divorced. Do the, clearly, the they don't have, clearly, there's not a level of sexual chemistry there. I no, mean, ten times no. in a year. And that's got to yeah, be first. That's whack. I don't that's think pity it has to be sex. First. first, it has to be first. And sexual the, chemistry is yeah. first. And in a the marriage? first marriage is always whack. Go to the. We got to wait on the second one anyway. <laughs> it's truth. I, I really hope that's true. It's true. I'm hoping that's true. Well, that's true. for guys. I don't know. Women. Oh uh, damn! Different you just rules. Threw me off. Different rules. I'm talking about See, guys. That's what you get for agreeing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's well, different I for guys. Wanted to, there I you wanted go. to be a part of that second. You being might better. be. You got to be the guy though. Trying to strap on. 
I'm going to assume for women also. You can't just throw me under the bus for no reason. I'm getting sure, back I'm not on throwing the, bus. You under the bus. I'm getting out from underneath the bus Get and out. getting back on. Do what no, you got to do. I'm getting back on. I'm, I told I'm, you five minutes ago you was reaching. <laughs> you kept going. <laughs> you're not reaching. I'm getting I, on I, the I, bus. I, I, second is going to be I better. I think your for second everybody. one is going to be beautiful. Thank you. I, and you stop know, right there. I know guys. I don't. I've never met a guy. Well, there are some guys who've been married like five times. So that's a problem. Move those guys out of the way, though. Most guys, their second one is you know is the better. The first one. one was the practice. Do you think they learned how to do it right? They've already. No, you know what I think it, it is. I think most guys think they want a uh, like a exciting, crazy relationship. Right. So like the first time, it's like exciting. So they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they get there and they're like, well, I don't want an exciting, crazy <laughs> wife. I just want something that's easy. Not not easy, but it's like I care about uh, like what do we do in, in the downtime? Right. So right. you got to find somebody who you you click with in the downtime, and right. I think guys get that by their second time. Hmm. Could be wrong, but you know, I know a me. lot of guys though. Right. That are on their second marriage and and it's worked out. Hmm. Could be someone with age too. You know, guys are much immature, younger. Could be and older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's definitely some growth there that you got to go through. I don't. I don't know why you would choose somebody that just for the yeah for the exciting yeah every just, every everybody does that in the I beginning. do I think I don't, I'm not well, a drama I'm not a dude that, that just likes uh, drama though. I'm opposites not, attract but that's not true you but know. people that think this think alike stay together that's actually scientifically not even true the opposites attract yeah only well, in, only in magazines. when did you become a relationship scientist <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying what, that's where's your white coat I'm just saying that opposites attract where's is bullshit it, that's where's not true degree? don't go after somebody who's your opposite that is, you have to have being, you have to have something in common with the person but just that because win. you're attracted to them there's not a lot of times people are attracted to things that are different than them I am attracted no, to different things no, I am no, no. I am short it, I'm attracted to tall yeah but when you get I am like very hyper sometimes I'm attracted to not hyper Yeah but no That doesn't work guy. You can't be around somebody Who's always cool Cause you're like This dude don't ever want to do anything I want to do I want to bounce off the walls that He just wants to sit there You see what I'm saying you, Yeah but you've never is. seen Have you ever seen Two talkative people in a relationship That's they perfect talk to, No they don't want to talk that to each other That is too much No that that's, that's the only way it works no. Cause a person no, doesn't want, will fight all the time they My wife my wife tries to over talk each other My wife tries to call me on the phone All the time And I don't talk on the phone so she's like trying to extend the conversation, and I'm just super silent. <laughs> that doesn't work. That works. No, that she doesn't has work. Space she hates to it. Speak. No, she's like, but it's well, working well. As no, you I say things, uh, about minute about minute four and a half, four or ten. I'm like, so you really don't have nothing to talk about, huh? <laughs> and then she hangs up on me. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work. She's pissed. Hey, she's, hey you know what you do? I'm gonna tell you what asshole. you do. I tell you what oh you do. God. Start a con- start a thread about something that has nothing to do. Just be like. So I can't do you that. like UFOs. He doesn't I can't want do to. small talk. I can't. He doesn't I, it, want it, to. It makes my skin He is in a comfortable place in his marriage where he doesn't have to do that. That's you just it. You always do stuff like that early in the beginning. We did a podcast where I don't. I, we've been together long enough. <laughs> I don't have to hear about your day. Like seriously, I don't want to hear about your day. You're such an <laughs> asshole. I don't. But we've been together long enough that it's where cool. you can say that. Yeah. yeah you got you know, to put some time in before absolutely. you can be authentic. Don't do that the first five couple of years. Five. After five, it's, it's like, and we've been fifteen. So, <sighs> and honestly, still here. Mm, where's day? he gonna go? Mm. <laughs> where is he gonna go? Get out of my face! <laughs> hey, you know, you can do that after a certain place, and it's okay. Right. It's like, get away from me! Yeah, I'm going you can't downstairs. Do that day one, you'd be hurting her feelings. Yeah, but nah, after so a while, it's like I'm not. But useless. we're interested. Such an asshole. But we're interested in the same things. You know what I'm saying? We like watching documentaries, and you know what I'm saying, learning new things. Like that's that's something that we really do. We relate a lot. So yeah. I'm so, in you trouble. Know, you're in trouble? Yeah, I'm in trouble. We don't like watching any anything of the same to like shit at all. <laughs> I detest what he watches Opposites on television. do not attract. You That's detest. You say the word detest. I detest what he watches, <laughs> and he detests what I watch. Whatever. And he's he does. He's like, I, and I was like, Well, you watch this? He's like, No, I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch that with you. And I think that's horrible. But he like beats people up though. I know, and so, I don't like that. I don't like the stuff. Every time you watch it sport, on television, it's like blood, co- blood's coming out of someone. And it's like, this, like it's disgusting. What did you think was going to happen when you, you, you date somebody who beats people up for their fun, for their sport? Like, what? I don't know. He did say that he enjoys it. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a requirement that you have to, you, you have to watch my show with me? I thought be. so. That- because most guys may not want to, but they still will go ahead and watch. This, this one does not. No, I don't watch it. He refuses. 
And my girl be trying to get me nice. to watch Basketball Wives. I don't want to watch I no fucking ask Basketball to watch that, Wives. But I did watch him, ask him to watch The Notebook, as we've talked about. And there's a new show, guys. I'm going to put you on to this new show. It's on OWN. It's called This Is Love. It's absolutely amazing. It is going to make everyone fall in love again. This is love. Really? Is that the, the show where you cry it's make and stuff? everyone no, fall in love again. You don't again. cry. It's too, this it's, is it's, us. This is, no, it's not This Is Us, but This Is Us is amazing too. It'll be back on NBC. But right now we're talking about OWN. Mara Brock Akil and her husband, Salim Akil, have this beauty. It's their love story, but it's also- I get it now. She's representing one of them. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Somebody on the show has. No, is, I'm not. I watched it. I'm, 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 no, I'm writing about it, and it's a it's a it's a beautiful show. If it's just it's all about love. It's a reality you, show. It, no, it's a scripted series about two people that fall in love. Has the, the person who wrote it? Have they ever been in love? Yes, they're married. I think you just love. You just missed what I said. Just, yeah, it's it's the they're, enchanted. You got on a fucking heart right now. I mean, Jesus you have Christ. a heart. And what's that? I want what? Candy. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, watch the show oh, on own. What, is, what does that this mean, is even? <laughs> what? Well, I, I want candy with a heart. Yeah. What does that this mean? Is, this is love, guys. Watch it. It's let bedazzled. me know. Let me know what. Let me know what you think. But it's it's a beautiful story. It's like '90s R and B love. You like a Care Bear as a so person. There's a lot of talking. I did in the watch the Care Bears, but I asked him to watch it with me. He refused. I, I wouldn't it was, watch it either. But we're not at year fifteen. The word "love" is in the title. You but already you know, know what? That actually, to, to your point, because you've said like most women, they want if they want a killer, they he's a killer. He's yeah. a uh, yeah. He's a uh, beat me, you over the head, blood sport. Yes, uh, I will eat your heart. Uh, Call your thrones. Yes. <laughs> Call your girlfriend. Y'all sit on the phone and watch that shit yes. together. That's not the she dude can't that's even come paint over. your nails and. I know. I didn't know that. He's thought, uncomfortable in that, that space. Okay, I'm I'm very protected and safe, but I'm also choose. You want to be with that dude that's got feminine tendencies? That's not where I'm at. That well, I mean, that's your choices. You want you want like Brian McKnight to be an action hero, and it's like I it's do. not it. It's not that. No, 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 no. Stop that. That's, Stop that's, that slander. You know, one of my friends said, "Crystal, you cannot have a guy who is like buff with tattoos, but also like super sensitive." And it's not gonna happen. Like, man. Brian McKnight is not that dude he's talking about. You know? Have you ever? I've met Brian McKnight. He is I didn't not like him a, very much. like a sweetheart. Like I he's like not, him very. He's got he's actually well. I'm not gonna say he that, is but he's not very nice. He is, and I he seen him dunk on a nigga like like Dominique down here. I've never seen that. He be trying to overcompensate because niggas know he sing all them love songs. Nah, I see shit. him he be do three sixty dunks on a bitch. I just think the songs were an accident because he's definitely not that. He's not that person. <laughs> his whole career is an accident. <laughs> you, have you heard his voice? I have, Angelic. but I've also met him, and it didn't yeah, go together. He's, he's not what Kevin is talking. That's what I'm it saying. Doesn't go it's together. not at all the same it's thing. It's an accident. I mean, R and B niggas be be like extra sensitive about that. No, to he's not. He's not extra. sensitive He's a real. He's a real dude. I'll put yeah. it like that. Ray J, all them niggas, they be man. Don't be thinking because I sing them songs, nigga. I can't. I'm, I don't I know about Ray J. Vouch for Ray J. I, don't know about, I don't know about Ray J. I can't vouch for Ray J. But I can say R and B niggas. I bet you won't run up on Jaheem. Well, Jaheem got a weird look. Now, <laughs> shit. I, I bet you I could take Jaheen. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he made vegetables. Maybe now because <laughs> he made on the vegetables. Shit. <laughs> Maybe and then he needs some Popeyes. Jaheim ain't as strong as he used to he be. He needs some Popeyes. I bet you wouldn't have ran up on uh, put that one in the first time. Right. <laughs> I, bet, I, I guarantee you won't run up on Life Jennings. Shit, I take my chances. What up? What up? We'll do it for charity, nigga. Let's, let's go. Shit. Now, he was in the joint, wasn't he? That <laughs> <laughs> nigga, well, that nigga just did 10 years in the joint. <laughs> right. You better shut up, Kevin. <laughs> that nigga, nigga going to fight fair. <laughs> Actually, he ain't trying to go back. He don't, he don't want to He ain't going <laughs> back. Shut up. I don't shut know what's going up. on. Me and Life Jennings, nigga, what's up? Wow. Who am who who I supposed to fight Liv Jennings for? Hey, uh, guys, no, seriously. So, right. we got to talk about this. There was a, there was a shooting... Um, actually, yesterday, a 20-year-old rapper, actually two rappers were killed yesterday. One was in Philly. I can't remember exactly the guy's name. Starts with an M. Yeah. Mopo or something like that. Yeah. But but social media went crazy. He wasn't really that popular. That's why. Yeah, he was a Philly really rapper. Yeah. But um, he was more regional. But XXX... <laughs> <laughs> Extension. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce his name. We're not laughing I'm because not laughing we're not laughing that. because of that. We're laughing because before the show, what you don't know is it took us about we 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 did like maybe 50 trial runs on trying to say his name, and none we of did. us could do it. But it's, it was Tentacion. 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 Triple X. Yeah. Tentacion. Yes. Um, but he was he was he was mur- he was robbed and murdered in in Florida. 
very sad, but there's been a lot. Social media sometimes is the devil, I think, because it's like there's a lot of, of conversation about um, his past, and he obviously was uh, a very conflicted young man. Um, but one of the things that bothered me the most was the fact that there was so many people that were taking pictures and video of him after being shot and very few people actually trying to help him. And so I actually um, wanted to read something that was posted on social media by Tiron. What's up, Tiron? He posted this. Did, this they write, did they write that new uh, Maroon 5 and Cardi B song? I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him in a while. But um, so he posted, this is a post from a nurse that um, was upset about what was happening and what she saw on social media. Mm-hmm. So she said, so for those who are not yet aware, rapper Tentacion was fatally shot and killed today in Florida. Now, I'm not about to sit here and act like I was a super fan and knew all the lyrics to his songs, but I do have a problem about how the rapper passed away. Personally, my agitation came from being a nurse. Allegedly, the, rod- or the rapper was, sh- was robbed and then shot in his vehicle with numerous witnesses around the scene. Everyone on the scene was capturing the moment on their phones, recording videos, zooming in on his face and lifeless body, creating captions on Snapchat for videos. And yet nobody except one checked that man's pulse. Nobody to check to see where the bullet hit him to determine if life-saving measures could have been taken. Nobody investigated, but instead captured the moments on their cell phone. This really bothered me because that man's life could have possibly been saved if one civilian would have just put down their phone and checked. It only takes one person to call the police. As a nurse and someone who was a certified paramedic, I cannot tell you how precious seconds are in moments like this. This just proved to me how disgusting our society is and how easily we are distracted. Um, to, it, to me, that was just very sad because not only were people posting his, his picture and his lifeless body on Snapchat and Instagram, um, but there were a lot of young kids that were on Twitter that were really just having a hard time with the graphicness of what they had seen. A lot of parents had to have a conversation with their kids about it. And to me, it's just it's just a really sad, I guess, picture of where we are as a society. The fact that, first of all, it's horrible. I guess the 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 place where he was buying the motorcycle where he was shopping at posted that he was there. We don't know if that's how the people found out or not, but all this was shared via social media. And so before his mother or father or family probably even got a call from the police, they these pictures in this video, these videos were seen on social media. So it's just, I think that just shows us that we're in a really, really scary place as a society, that that's, that that's going on as opposed to someone trying to perform CPR and right. get to him or, you know, or, or even, you know, putting down their phones in respect of someone being dead. You know, but they're actually video. There were so many people. Hey, did you see the video of him dead? And I'm like, no, I don't want to. That's that's that shit was crazy. I, I did you know? see him um, like slumped over in the in the I and um, which is crazy because normally people want to be seen in a fast car. You know what I mean? Um, that 2018 or whatever. But that ain't how you want to be seen, yo. That that that's not how you want to do it. Well, that's, I mean, that's I, not I, how you want to do it. I, I, Outside of what people want to be, the the fact that other people don't have there's we're so desensitized from death and 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 the realness of that, mm-hmm. you know, for people to be thinking that that's something that they should have on their phones to share via Instagram, right. is is a problem, you know. And I don't I don't know really how we can change that um, because I think our our culture has gone to being spectators as opposed to being human, you know, humane towards people. Um, there's been several. Celebrities that were dead That were people were taking pictures of them in their casket Like we are just at a very Very scary place to me What disgusted people. me more than Both the things that you guys said Was that when they had the pictures that came out it, they, To me they weren't It wasn't that graphic So I don't think anybody was like You know throwing up But what was disgusting to me though Was the reaction People saying he deserved it And mm-hmm. good riddance And Yeah What? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm almost to the point where I feel like the term rapper is is a, a racial thing because it always like no matter how unwell known the person is, that's a, if that's they a- were a rapper, then the news can't wait to say rapper unknown little so and so, right, was fatally shot. Blah 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 blah. Like, how many rappers have you heard about? Only because they were shot and killed. 
Well, I mean, I think that's news. And he had reached a, a level of, of success that made him very popular. He has a very big fan base. And he was doing, he was actually one of the most uh, talked about new artists of 2017. So I think he was definitely someone, because it was, you know, reported on he TMZ. He was on the rise. He was They're definitely, always on the rise. I hate to say that, but. I don't know. I do think they've that, always got a bright future right when they shot. Like it's fucked up, but I mean it is what it is. And that's the matter even to the kids like I know they want to think it's a game, but this shit ain't a game, yo. It's really not. It's real fucking consequences out there. It's like you playing gang member. No, it's real gang members out there. Like that scared straight shit. Them niggas on the inside is real. You think it's a game because you ain't met nobody real. But trust me, a real nigga will find your ass and let you know that you're not real. Which is kind of why Kevin should not be threatening Life Jennings via <laughs> the show. I ain't got no beef with Life Jennings. <laughs> Just kidding. No, seriously, but he, um, the, people were saying, I heard that comment, and I think Perez Hilton posted you know, his uh, past history. He, had, he, he, he's in, he was being... He had some domestic violence. He had some severe domestic violence issues. I did read, you know, several yeah, articles that... Yeah, she's not that, dead. She's not dead. Yeah, yeah, she's not dead. And he was, he was, I think, 16. She also ain't mad that he did. Let's just be for real. If that well, was my no, sister, if she, that was somebody else, yo, I wouldn't actually, fuck with him because of that. Yeah, but she, true, But she actually was still dealing with him. In fact, he went he got in trouble because while he was in jail, they were still talking. But that's not that's not abnormal for domestic violence situations right. for the victim to still reach out to. I don't think anybody's them. trying to say that he didn't have issues. I think yeah. he was um he had some home invasions yeah. convictions. Yeah. He had some uh, robbery. assault and robbery, robbery convictions. And the, then the domestic violence thing. Torture and domestic violence right, as but, well. So but by the time you actually some, get shot, it feel like nah, that's karma, but, yo. No, like nah, you was you was dealing I, the evil deeds and they washed up on your shore. I hear what yeah. you're saying, but then, but then the thing about it is, and you know, well, something my daughter said to me is this something that, that she felt was that she she saw something that I don't, you know, I heard people say stuff like, well, Malcolm, if Malcolm makes a diet at 20, mm -hmm. you know, who knows? Tupac, he, too. Yeah. Right. So, like, what would Tupac have been at 40? Right. He was, you know, doing a lot at 24, but that's a very young person. You haven't had a chance to see him mature and see what he could well, possibly see, but grow into. Well, see, that's the thing. Into. He actually had already started. And I, there's a video that I saw. It's six minutes long. And I don't know what the original one is, but I'm going to just read, tell you what it is. It's last powerful message from, from live video of XXX Tentacion, And the person's page is Falove, F-A-H-L-U-V. I listened to this. And what I heard was, I heard, I heard a, a, a young man who believed in a system, mm -hmm. believed in the way he thought things were supposed to be based off what he was told by somebody right. and people not living up to those things. But what I also heard was he's saying, and because of that, I did some dumb shit. Right. However, I don't want you guys right. to do this because right. you have to recognize that going out there and being a wild child is not going to make you feel good. You're still right. going to feel bad. I feel awful right now. Right. It didn't help me. Right. What's helping me is that I know that me telling you this may it's give you be better, right? the chance. And I mean, I'm not saying that he, he should, it should all just be wiped away, but at the same time, we can't say... We can't sit here and say good riddance. We don't know the whole extent of his life. Right. If you're not going to include all the elements, right. you can't well, you just can't. say... And I don't think we, we can be a judge. Obviously, right. he had a very rough upbringing. Um, he was young when that stuff happened. He was just 20 now. I think that stuff happened right. when he was 16 to 17. Uh, there are a lot of people who have horrible things that have happened when they're young that we never know about because they don't reach that level of fame. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, I don't... I definitely do not condone domestic violence. And, and what was happening was very scary. But we also know this is one thing I think that we have we have got to have a mental health um, pr provider to come on or a mental health therapist come on because mental health is something that's just affecting everybody in a huge way from the suicides that we've talked about to even this young man who had talked about his own struggles with mental health and wanted to encourage his fans because I think a lot of young people I was talking to my daughter as well and she was like a lot of young people are struggling with depression. Um, they think they're supposed to be someplace that they're not. You know, they think they're supposed to be have this level of success, largely largely due to social media. But a lot of people are dealing with mental health, and even more severe than more severe um, cases of mental health than just depression. So he admitted that he was dealing with some of that, and. I think people, a lot of times people are not diagnosed. They don't know. You know, yeah. he, he had a hard upbringing. So no one probably thought, let me take this boy to 
see if he, you know, to a psychologist or right. a psychiatrist or a therapist. So later when he's torturing a girl, right. you know what I mean? That, that, those type of things come out. But he was trying to get help. Regardless, he was 20 years old. To be yeah. gunned down that way is, is just is it's, yeah, That's sad. shameful. But you know what? Because uh, I've saw, clearly there's a, there's a lot of different reactions to his death, mm-hmm. right? Some people are saying good riddance. Some people are saying, oh, he was planning this charity event. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he had a good heart, so on and so yeah. forth. And for whatever reason, I think us as the the audience, we tend to try to cast people in one way. Right. Right? He was trying to do this charity, so he's a good person. Oh, he raped that girl, so, he's, so he's a terrible person. Right. Right? But we don't allow people the humanity to accept their full complexities. Right. I right? agree with that. Like, he can be both. Right. right. He, he, Most he, people are both. He's, Everybody he's is both. He's done some Everybody good things, both. right? He's done some good things, right. but he had some stresses and he did some bad things too. He and saves more than he rapes. Uh, I don't know about that. Hopefully. I don't know if he's there yet. He was still raping more than he saved, I think. But I think that <laughs> there was potential for him to start saving more. Right. But but the thing though, but is, you see what I'm saying. The, some, yeah. you know, something that you mentioned is very important. I think that uh, that everybody needs to hear this message. I had a student that popped up the other day. He, I was out walking my dog, and he just happened to drive by. Didn't know I lived here, mm-hmm. and it was a, a, a guy that I taught music business. And um, so he pulled up, and you know, we came inside, and we, he was talking to me about, you know, he was he's playing bass. He was playing bass for Jamel, Janelle Monae, and um, that was a while ago. So he's off the tour now. He's trying to figure out what he wants to do, but. I just saw it in his face and the, the 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 idea that you said about you know people are feeling like they're not where they're supposed to be mm-hmm. and it's based off social media. I think that's a, a very important message. If we have any younger listeners, and to be honest, our age listeners too. Right. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. People are going to lie to you and make it seem like they got it all together and they've got it figured out. Nobody has it figured out. Right. We are all just guessing and it's okay mm-hmm. to have some, it's okay to be a little bit, a little further behind somebody else. And you may not actually be behind them. Right. It's just they your may journey just be is lying. Di- well, your journey is just different. <laughs> I think everybody's journey is different. I right. think, I think illustrated by early, we're talking and we're all, you know, we're just, we're just talking about pop culture. But the fact that Beyonce is using the Migos track. To sing shows that everybody's the most trying to successful, figure, yeah, she's, seemingly but successful R and B singer in the world is chasing is yeah, and I, I, track. I, I I thought to myself when I heard that because I listened to the track and I was like, wow, I'm sure because Cardi B was like, I'm gonna be Beyonce, you know, everybody that she's this level, and I'm sure when Cardi met her, she was happy, and then Cardi's boyfriend puts together a song and Beyonce sings their song. So think about that. You're thinking you put this person on this pedestal, and you've only been you know, grinding for a short period of time and then she's looking at you like, so it just proves that right. things go in a different, and, and everyone's journey is different and things change. You know, you where you may be one day, you may not, six months later, things could totally change and that is a part of your own personal journey. Um, but I just wish there was some way that we could, because we see social media and it ch- is, is pushing everyone so fast and making everyone feel a certain way, but we've got to have something that allows us to realize that a lot of young people and like you even said, a lot of people our age as well are struggling with it, but especially young people who don't know, you know, who are struggling. None and that of us young know. man, that yeah. young that young man actually was talking. His fan base was, you know, young people, and a lot of them really responded to him, yeah. you know, in a strong way. So I, I hate that. That's it's, it's painful. Kind of like when we when we were younger and Tupac died. You know, I remember how, you know, oh, I was heartbroken. Heart, bro, I was. I remember crying. Done. You know what I mean? Because he made such an impact <laughs> on me. Yeah. So I was out to sea. I was in the middle of the Persian Gulf when he died. So I was like, man, I just want to get. I want to get away from here. <laughs> yeah, people I just, was dying around you every day. I just want to get away from here. That's really what I was saying. Like, <laughs> anyway, yeah. well, or you know, I, I I hate that, and I hope that it can cause us to at least start having a conversation more about mental health. We got to get somebody yeah. on here. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? We we got to talk about at some. Po- maybe we'll do this next show, but we got to talk about uh, these children being separated from their families at the border. Yeah. Yeah, we're the whole we country. We're that. in a bad place. But um, uh, y'all believe that? I do. What? I do actually. I, we got We can't go into it now. But Kevin Costner was on uh, the View this morning, and I love Whoopi Goldberg. She's like one of my mentors in my head. But they were having this this conversation <laughs> about <laughs> conversation about. We'll, we'll catch up with next next week. You guys tune in. We're definitely gonna go into this. Mentor in my head. She's a mentor in my I head. I got you. I love her. She's, she's very intense. Does she know that she's in your head? It's kind of stalker. Yeah, it's weird, right? Whatever. Y'all, anyway, Ooh. like, share, subscribe. All that stuff. Yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Music Club Life.